Mr. Speaker, I believe that the maker of the statement is very right in asking us to continue to support Ghana Gas to do more. Mr. Speaker, we all know the genesis and the beautiful story of Ghana Gas, especially its local content and indigenization drive. Um, as we speak today, all the engineers there are Ghanaians. I mean, Ghana Gas can be compared with Vaku. It can be compared with VRA. It can be compared with Tor within a short period of time. So clearly, it shows that they've done something that other people have not been able uh, to do. Mr. Speaker, the Ghana Gas Company, like the maker said, plans to have its own onshore pipeline that will connect the west to the east and then the hinterlands. But what is the essence of connecting it to the hinterlands? The essence is to industrialize the country. And with 1D1F coming up strongly in this country, we know that the energy that is going to be produced by that pipeline onshore is key in growing our industries. It will therefore be appropriate that when they bring their agreements and then their financial support uh, to Parliament, we will stand behind Ghana Gas and GMPC so that they are able to deliver that project. For me, I believe that that project is long overdue because the discussion started way back in 2007 and still they've not been able to bring it. I want to use this opportunity to encourage Ghana Gas to bring it to Parliament so that we can approve it so that the opportunities for jobs for our young ones will be enlarged.